Hello everyone! Today I thought I would talk about a very exciting subject that I'm sure will keep all of you awake and alert is the importance of the scientific process. It has recently come to my attention that most people have no idea about the scientific process, uh, research or experimentation and seem to pluck their knowledge of it out of the air to suit the subject they are discussing. Now by no means am I an expert. I am a third year psychology student who pretty much knows the basics when it comes to the scientific process and statistical validity and all that exciting jazz. In science, empirical observations are made and then they are organized in a meaningful way. This is how journals are collaborated and scientific papers and books and it tends to work well. I mean, it's worked well for the last couple of hundred years, so yeah, I definitely think that's a good statement that we should stick with. Um, but I want to point out the key word in that is empirical. And that means you can observe what is happening, or you have observed what has happened, whether it be in natural phenomena, experimental studies, clinical trials, all that kind of stuff where you can actually see what's going on and determine whether your hypothesis applies correctly or not. I want to point out something as well. Many people get confused about the word theory. Okay, Our normal interpretation of this word is theory. It hasn't been proven yet. It's a hypothesis. However, in the realm of science and research, this is incorrect. Within scientific literature and experiments, the word theory means that it is pretty much an established fact. Now, I use the word fact loosely because, as I'll discuss later, there is the whole notion of falsifiability in science, and yes, I'll cover that later. But, please, when you try and argue that, oh, Oh, evolution or this or that is just a theory. I've just schooled you, okay? Theory has a different meaning within the scientific literature, which I know is very confusing. Uh, I was confused when I first heard it too, but once you wrap your head around the fact that theory takes on a completely different literal meaning when you've placed it in the context of science, it is easier to understand. Okay, on to the topic of creationism or creation science. Now, I have mixed feelings about the words creation science. On the one hand, it makes me shudder when those two words are put together in a sentence. On the other hand, I just love oxymorons. Okay, in relation to creation science, or from now on I'll just call it creationism. Informal hunches, opinions, and passionate beliefs held by the layperson, aka creationists, do not have the same status as scientific theories because they have not been, and sometimes cannot be, objectively verified. God, or the notion of a god or gods, depending on what religion you belong to, cannot be objectively and empirically verified. Therefore, it cannot be counted in the realm of science. All scientific explanations must be capable of being tested by objective empirical methods, for example, by experimentation. That is, scientific propositions must be capable of public verification. No matter how interesting a theory may be, Without the potential for public empirical validation, it is not a scientific theory. People, if there is no way of testing a theory, it is scientifically worthless, no matter how plausible, imaginative or innovative it may be. Now, I know that many people argue that religion is beyond science. In that case, my belief in unicorns and fairies is also beyond science. I know it's an odd argument, but it beautifully demonstrates my point. 
Now, you may have noticed my slight condescending tone, but this is coming from a place of annoyance and absolute anger at people who, A, don't bother to read or figure out how the scientific process works, and B, people who ignore it completely, instead making up their own little fantasy land in their mind in which everything is proven through the value and notion of faith. Now, one more thing that I am absolutely passionate about is focusing on the highly exciting discussion that is the scientific process involving falsifiability. To be scientific, a theory must make risky predictions. That is, it must make predictions that have a chance of being incorrect. This is sometimes referred to as Popper's principle of falsifiability, in which all scientific theories must be falsifiable. If all evidence is simply interpreted as supporting the theory, then it is termed irrefutable, which is a hallmark of pseudoscience, not of science. Hmm. Does this not sound like the claims made by people all over the world with regards to existence of their gods and deities? All scientific theories risk refutation, and it is this that allows for progress in science. The popular notion that a theory must be right to be useful is incorrect. So, to sum up, one of the greatest things about science is that it can be wrong, but that's what makes it great. It encourages people to continually endeavour to better the next project or expand on this theory that was proven false. I don't see religion doing this. I don't see religion admitting its mistakes or even being open to the possibility that it may be wrong. Trust me, if provided with the right scientifically reliable and valid evidence, I would believe in and praise whichever God was proven to me. But so far, all religions are based on faith and the notion that science isn't needed to prove that a petty, violent, insecure, homophobic and sexist God exists and that we should all blindly follow his rules set out in a grimy old book written by men to control other men. So that was my rant about the importance of the scientific process specifically focusing on empirical observation and falsifiability. As always I want to hear from you people. Do you agree with what I just said? Do you agree with the scientific process? Do you think it's a load of crap? If so, tell me or tell me why not and I'd be happy to hear anyone's comments or video responses regarding the subject because ultimately that's what we're here for. Sharing is caring. So until next time guys, I'll see you later.